ביקורים, פרק שני, משנה א', אוקיי. ביאור משנה א', The explanation for משנה א', הביקורים שווים בדינים אחדים לתרומה. There are things that are similar between ביקורים and תרומה, that we're going to find out. There are some things that ביקורים and תרומה are similar in. ובדינים אחדים למעשר שני. And in other things, ביקורים is not like תרומה, it's like מעשר שני, the one you take to Yerushalayim and you eat it by yourself. ויש בהם גם דינים מיוחדים שאינם לא בתרומה ולא במעשר שני. And then there are some details in ביקורים that is not like תרומה and not like מעשר שני. בפירוט הדנים הללו, so in order to understand these laws, עוסקות ארבעת המשניות הראשונות של פרקנו. So this, the first four missions in our chapter is going to teach us how is ביקורים similar to תרומה, how is it similar to מעשר שני, and how is it not similar to any of them. So let's start. התרומה והביקורים חייבים עליהם מיתה. So both תרומה and ביקורים, one is obligated the death penalty on them. I don't actually think it's מיתה על ידי אדם, I don't think the court kills you. I think it's just בידי שמיים, but I don't remember, you remember we discussed it in תרומה. In תרומה is the court, it's בידי שמיים, right? It's not, it's not, they don't really kill you. Yeah, it's not according to man, it's according to God. Yeah. So תרומה means it goes to the Kohen, it's the, the section that goes to the Kohen, and ביקורים, since it also goes to the Kohen, only a coin has made it, it so it has the same level of holiness. Only he can eat. Only he can eat, that's right. Chayavim alei mita, so you all get a death. Zar she'achlam b'mezid, a non-coin that ate them on purpose. Chayav mita b'dei shamayim. Oh, we should read the next time and not talk. Chayav mita b'dei shamayim. He's obligated death in the hands of heaven. שבתרומה נאמר, because in תרומה it says, ומתו בו כי יחללוהו. They should die in it. They would die if they eat it, because they mandained it. וכל זר לא יאכל קודש. In any non-coin should not eat holies. ואף ביקורים נקראים תרומה. And also ביקורים are called תרומה שכתוב, והבאתם שמה עולותיכם. It says you should bring over there your sacrifices, ואת תרומת ידכם, and the תרומה of your hands. It says, if it says עולותיכם, why does it say תרומת ידכם? ופירשו תרומת ידכם, what is תרומת ידכם? אלו הביקורים. These are ביקורים, so we see ביקורים is also תרומה, they are called תרומה שנאמר בהם, ולקח הכהן נתן מידיך. Only the coin has the right to take the basket from your hand. והרמב״ם כותב, the רמב״ם says, שאין חיוב מיתה וביקורים. He disagrees. He says, ביקורים, there's not, oblig- there's not death penalty. אלא אם כן אחר זר, אחר שנכנסו לחומות ירושלים. אה, it only becomes death penalty after it entered the city. If it's before the city, you're not supposed to eat it, but it's not as holy yet. Because you need to be eating a sacrifice, and it's not really a sacrifice until it enters Yerushalayim. When it enters Yerushalayim, it becomes a sacrifice. וחומש. And also, let's say a person ate them by mistake, you know, it wasn't... We learned before that we, you don't have to do chumash. That's on the second, on the oh, second day. Oh, on the second, right. Yeah, yeah, that's on the second. וחומש, אם זר אכלם בשוגג, if a non-cohen ate them by mistake, חייב לשלם קרן וחומש. Ah, this is a beautiful word. He needs, by the way, this is one of the things that you can see how God emphasizes, many times in the Torah, God emphasizes the community. Community comes before you. Mm-hmm. Many times in the Torah, God emphasizes the individual. The individual comes before the community. Over here we're going to see that the individual has rights more than communion. It's his right. It's beautiful. So it says chumash. So let's say you ate a hundred dollars worth not you. Somebody else ate a hundred dollars worth of grapes. He didn't know it was Bikurim. So now he needs to pay a hundred and twenty-five dollars. A hundred dollars what he ate. To the coin he ate it from. Another twenty-five dollars. So now the question is, the hundred dollars he gives back to the coin. To the coin he ate it from. The twenty-five dollars, who does he have to bring it, to give it to? 
So the, the regular thing, give it to the coin you edit from. So he says, no, 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 the penalty, he, he, you damaged well, him. What he got is this, so maybe the penalty you can give it to somebody else. Oh, let's see, let's see. If a stray, if a non Kohen ate them by mistake, Chayam Lishalem Keren Vechumash. He is obligated to pay what he ate and 25% more, Chumash. Keren Lebaalim, Keren to the owners, Vechumash the whole Kohen Shirze. It says, excuse me, I'm going to decide, I'm going to decide my penalty. You know, I have an uncle, I have a, I, I, I don't want to give it to my uncle, I want to give it to somebody else. It's not, you don't tell me who to give it to. Oh, who to give it to. It's the same thing is with charity. You know, there's a charity, right. is, you're supposed to give charity. They, over here the government comes and takes charity from you and it gives it to whomever they decide. It says, no, no, no. no. In the Torah, there are some kind of, the, 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 when the king takes taxes, he takes it to whatever he wants. But charity-wise, he says, I'll decide which charity to give it to. Also to the coin. Which coin am I going to give it to? Here that you have the right I have to the right. To whoever I want. That's right. Not to that coin. That's right. But he also can give it to, to he, what the coin he wants to give that. The, the, the Karen, not the Chumash. The he can give it to any coin no, he wants. No, he damaged this coin. He cannot give it to him every coin. I, I or if he decides before, I give it to this coin. But he doesn't make the before the he, which coin he give it to. No, no, no. It doesn't matter which coin he gave it to. You, I walk in the street. I'm not a coin. And I see grapes and I ate them. And then the coin comes and says, what do you mean? You ate my grapes. You ate my grapes. They're my grapes. So I have to give him back his grapes. Forget, um, let's take a regular Jew. Forget me because it's confusing. Let's take a regular Jew, another coin. A Jew has um, set aside Bikurim for the coin. Okay. Yeah? And he has in mind whoever coin he is, I don't know. Yeah? But he set it aside, I'm going to give it to my neighbor. He's a coin, I'm going to give it to this Bikurim. So at the moment he set it aside in his neighbor, I'm not sure right now, let's say it belongs to the neighbor, when he said right, aside, the question is, is he have to have it in mind who is giving it? L let's say he has it. Okay. So, and now then he eats by mistake his own grapes. So it says, give, since this belongs to the, the, whoever these grapes belong to, either before or after, I don't care, that you have to give it back to. And, but then the chumash, you can give whoever you want. Sometimes you can eat the Kohen's uh, grapes after the fact. It's already Kohen's property. You come to his house, and he has some regular grapes and some grapes that are bikurim, and you, you didn't know, and you had the bikurim, so you have to give him back. So, so if it, 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 it's not going to be logical. Your thinking, if we are going to say that when you mafrish bikurim or mafrish truma, you don't have the coin, which coin you're going to give it in mind? I think you have to have which coin, otherwise it's not belong to him. It doesn't belong to nobody yet. Yeah, but it's possible that the case over here... Belong to Hashem. Yeah, but it's possible that the case over here that he's talk, discussing is after it reached the Kohen. Oh, you ate the Bikurim after it reached okay. the Kohen. Yeah. But the question is, before it hits the Kohen... I don't know. The question is, you're asking a question, but I don't think it has to do with Bikurim. I don't think it's Bikurim. I think it's the idea of if you decided in your mind to do something and to give it to a particular person, should you change? If you're allowed to change, you're probably allowed to change. But should you change? I'm not sure you should. But, but it's not discussed over here at all. I think we're going to discuss this when we come to sacrifices and things like this. It's going to be discussing things like this. Over here, to make our case simple, you ate it after it became the property of the coin. Yeah. So, so that's Bikurim and Truma are forbidden to Zarim. And what is, and something else, they are the property of Kohen. What does it mean they are the property of Kohen? It's one of the things they say. When it comes to the Kohens, now it becomes the Kohen, he can do maschara with them. Which means he, he can go and sell his grapes in the, in the Bikuri market, which means only Kohens are allowed to buy in that market, okay. and buy donkeys. There's no holiness to him. At the moment he receives it, it's holy to the entire world, but they become his property. For the coin. For the coin. Okay. So in other words, you, you remember when you have Bikurim, 
if you remember, we, we already discussed, is with Bikurim, yes. If you exchange Bikurim, you remember you exchange, you're only allowed to exchange it with other kinds of food. You remember we, we, okay. we said it, you're only allowed to exchange it with other kinds of food. And He's allowed to exchange it. Whatever he wants. Well, it's his property. You can, you can buy a Khalifa. You can buy a suit with it. You can buy, for him so it's... How we take it down from holiness? Then it's his property now. But he, well, he can give it to an oh, so, holy No, guy. but he can sell it in the coin market. That's what I said. Oh. There's a coin market that only coinim are allowed to buy because he can, it's Bikurim. Okay. So he can probably sell it in the coin market, but he's allowed to exchange it to whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. Because it's stay holy. Yeah. He doesn't take it down. But you're not allowed to. Right, because... You, you, have to, you have to make it into food. Right. He is allowed, it's his. In other words, why are you not allowed to? Because you have a commandment to eat it. He does, it's, it's his. He can do whatever he wants. He has a commandment to receive it from you. Yeah. Don't do it. I don't know if he has a commandment to receive no, it. No, I mean, but, you yeah. command by God, give it to the coin. Yeah. <laughs> so he, by him, it becomes his property. Okay. He can do it very well. He can sell them to another coin, only another coin, because they're yeah. holy. ולקנות בדמיהם כל מה שהוא רוצה, כי מבואו לעולם, אני can buy whatever he wants, it's his property, can buy donkey, which you're not allowed to do with the, which you're not allowed to do. And also, what's the, 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 what's the same with Truma and Bikurim, ועולין באחד ומאה, and also they get nullified one in one hundred, again the same thing, שאה של תרומה או של ביקורים, a sea of truma or bikurim, she intervah be mea sea shel chulim, that got mixed up with mea sea of chulim, haray yi betela, it gets nullified. Vata rovet muteret lezorim, and if it has one in one hundred, now any Jew can eat it, even non coin. Ela she trich lot mata rovet, sea chait anal coin, but you still have to bring the one part and give it to the coin because it is property. And also there's another din, ah, we didn't discuss this at all, this din. When a coin eats, yeah, besides being, um, besides being, what do you call it, pure, when he eats Truma and Bikurim, he also needs to wash his hands. Like we wash for bread. He no, no, only him. Yeah, you, when you eat fruit, you when you eat fruit, you don't need to wash your hands. Oh, eat fruit? He, it's Bikurim. Oh, sure. he, it's, since it's holy, Ah. Both Truma and Bikurim. That's right. He, he needs to wash hands, not to say bracha. There's no bracha in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pure. That's right. It's pure. That's right. And they need the washing of the hands, both Truma and Bikurim. Anybody who comes to touch them. Just like bread by us. We don't have this concept today. We're not used to it, but that's the. שסתם ידיים פוסלות את התרומה. Because unwashed hands, even if a pure person, make the תרומה פסול, unholy. וכן את הביקורים, and also the ביקורים. So that's all the things similar between תרומה and ביקורים. One more thing. והערב שמש. And they also need to, uh, you remember, we learn it in ברכות. You remember we learned it in the beginning of Brachot, in the beginning, beginning, beginning. The first, I think it was the first Mishnah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ve'arev Shemesh, Kohen Tame Shetaval, an impure Kohen that went to the Mikveh, a no Rashai Lechol Trumah Bikurim, he's not allowed to go and eat Trumah Bikurim, even though he went to the Mikveh, Ad Shearev Shimsho, until the sun sets. שנאמר, הוא בא שמש וטהר. It says, and the sun came, and on, the sun set, and only then he became pure. ואחר יאכל מן הקדושים. After the sun set, he's allowed to eat from the holies. וקד, וקדושים היינו תרומה, and קדושים means תרומה, והוא הדין לביקורים. And this is also ביקורים. So all this is similar בתרומה and ביקורים. הרי אלו בתרומה וביקורים. כל הדינים הללו, all these things that we mentioned above, נוהגים בתרומה ובביקורים. They are similar both in תרומה and ביקורים. מה שאין כן במעשר שני. And this is not similar to מעשר שני. Why not מעשר שני? שמותר לכל אדם לחלוב בירושלים. Obviously, every person can eat it, because every person is supposed to bring it to Yerushalayim and eat it. ואסור לקנות בדמי מעשר שני, כי אם דברים שהם לאכילה ולשתייה לסיכה, and if you're far away, you're only allowed to buy food, like we mentioned before. 
ואם נתערב מעשר שני בחולין, if a master shiny got mixed in with חולין, I don't remember, but I think it's רוב. הרי הוא בטל ברוב. It is nullified in majority. כשאר כל האיסורים, so 51% is nullified already, there's no holiness there. ואינו טעון רחיצת ידיים, and you don't need to wash your hands. שמותר לנגוע במעשר שני, you know to eat the second tithing, ואף לאכול פירות במעשר שני, even eat second tithing, בלא נטילת ידיים, without washing of the hands, ואינו טעון ערב שמש, and you don't need to go to wait for the sunset, שהטמא כיוון שטבל, that if the impure, once he went into the mikveh, he doesn't need to wait, wait for sunset, he can eat the מעשר שני immediately. ואינו צריך לחכות עד שריב שמשון, אז אני אתווייט אנטיל דה סאנסט. 